Good afternoon, you two. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get the most OP armor set in Horizon Zero Dawn. This is called the Shield Weaver armor, and we're going to go through all the steps in this quest to get it. I will keep this spoiler free. I might mention a main quest line here and there and show you a snippet of it, but nothing to spoil it, okay? No cutscenes or anything like that, but some of the you will need to get to certain parts of the main quest to get this OP armor. So here you can see Aloy wearing it, and it looks quite cool. Sounds cool, actually. When you walk around with it, it sounds like you're wearing some sort of chainmail armor. But it's pretty broken. As you can see here, I am just toying with this jawbreaker here, letting him stomp all over me, taking no damage whatsoever. What happens is, it, uh, as you can see, it's glowing in like a kind of, I don't know, lightish, bluish, whatever you want to call it. And um, when you take enough damage, it turns red, and then you can start taking damage. But as soon as you notice it turn red, just walk away, and a few seconds later, it goes back to being light-colored, and then you're OP again. So I have not completed the game yet because I have the final story to do, but I don't want to do it just yet. I want to clear out every single part of the uh, map, explore everything, do all the side quests, and then I'll go do the final story mission. And yes, I know you could redo the final story mission over and over and get tons of XP, but I don't really care about that. I want to just clear everything everything out experience everything this game has and then I'll go complete the quest now it's a fairly straightforward quest called the ancient armory quest and it involves you getting a bunch of power cells to unlock some doors and then ultimately unlock the shield weaver armor you put it on and then you're good to go now to kick off the quest all you need to do is find one of the power cells and you're gonna kick it off where the actual armor is when you go to pick it up finally which is going to be in a bunker near Devil's Thirst. Now, if you want to fill in that area and be able to see this bunker to fast travel to a campfire near there, there's a tall neck you can go and hack. So I suggest doing that because it'll fill in the map over there. So you go into the bunker, you get that first power cell, and it starts the quest. So you're going to climb down and then just make your way into the bunker and do some exploring. It's fairly easy to find. There's also a bunch of supply crates down there also, so you might want to grab those. But uh, you can't miss it. You're going to see behind one of the walls, you're going to see it lit up in green, and you can actually break that wall with your spear. So just roam around and explore. I'm not showing you all the footage here, but just roam around. You'll sure enough find it, and then you break the wall, grab the power cell. That area back there. I wonder if I can find a way into it now. I needed to get to the armor in that ancient ruin I found. Now, power cell number two can be found in All Mother Mountain. Now, that you get to explore if you have the quest, The Womb of the Mountain. So just go into that uh, All Mother Mountain, look around, search the rooms. Once again, there's going to be some supply crates in there. Sure enough, you'll find your second power cell. Another power cell. This should help me get to that ancient armor. So now that you have two power cells, you're going to go back to the bunker where you found the first power cell and where the armor is actually located. It's missing two of the power cells. You put them in, and then there's going to be a combination on the door. Now, to enter the combination, you just got to use square and circle to rotate the dial. So the uh, solution for this one is going to be up, right, down, left, up. I'll repeat that again. Up, right, down, left, up. Up. Once you do that, you have access to another part of the bunker. Now you wander around the bunker, there's going to be some more supply crates, don't forget to get those, and then you're going to find another set of power cells, except it's missing three this time. So we're going to go find those three. Once you find those three, you enter in a combination, and boom, you've got your armor. So for the first power cell we're going to go for, you need the quest Maker's End. Right before you get to sort of the end of the quest, turn around, climb up this ledge, and it's all the way at the top of this peak here.
power cell. Now, for the next power cell, you're going to need the quest, the Grave Horde. Once you go in to complete this quest, just go roam around, and eventually you will find the green power cell. I don't want to say exactly where it is, just because it'll give away some spoilers. But go along the quest, and do not leave this quest until you actually find the power cell. Now for the final power cell, you're going to need the Mountain That Fell quest. When you get to this point in the quest, there's going to be a zip wire over there. Do not take that. Repeat, do not take it. Follow the footage right here and you'll see a ledge which you'll drop down and that'll take you to a little room and that's going to be where the final power cell is located. This should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. Now that you have all three power cells, simply go back to the bunker where you kicked it all off, put those three power cells in, and then you're going to have one more combination to put in, and then you get your OP armor. It's a uh, right, a left, up, right, left. Once again, right, left, up, right, left. Put it in, go get your armor, and go out and have fun. You, you're going to feel like you're cheating sometimes because nothing will kill you. It's ridiculous. So anyway, if you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, do me a favor. Drop a like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mason Sean. Check out my stream, usually on YouTube, and that is it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.